Hello everybody, this is Sarah back here for another unboxing. Yeah, it's the new month, beginning of the month, you know, usually about this time. My first unboxing is the Loot Anime Crate. Uh, but unfortunately, I have to tell you, they sent me an email saying, Dear Looters, due to an item delay, Loot Anime's Dual Crate will be up to one week late. So, maybe next week we'll find out what's in the dual craze from loot anime so but in other news though we have us a, a new crate uh, last month I believe yeah last month I believe I told you that I was getting onto a new crate that they had introduced called loots gaming and this is Gaming box number one, Legacy. <clears throat> so hopefully this will be some really good, interesting things inside. Um, if my finances get straightened out before the month's out, then I plan to try out at least one box of the DX crates that Luke Crates put out. I, I just want to give it a chance to see what's in it. If it's within my budget, I might keep it. If it's not, then I probably won't. Uh, this one's real, I'm really excited about to see what's inside. So let's open her up and then we'll do announcements and stuff at the end. Alright. Remember, safety first. Get my sharp knife. Let's put her off to the side. Pop this baby. Oh wow. The Loot Gaming Founders Crates. So, right off the back, we got a t shirt in the top. Now, they must they must just love us so much because they dropped in a bit of nostalgia. Throwing back from the 8 bit times. Nintendo, seal of approval. Yeah. It's like a good old fashioned Super Mario Brothers t shirt. Yeah, that's rocking awesomeness. I, I love it when a company kisses up to their fans and says, hey, guess what? We know a lot of you old farts have played games since forever. Here, here's some bit of nostalgia. <laughs> Alright, the next, next item in the box is a Heroes of the Storm blind box vinyl figure. Now, uh, well, you probably, well, you probably don't realize, but I'm not big on MOBAs. I like the idea of MOBAs, and I will watch MOBAs play, but I don't play MOBAs. It's... To me, a MOBA is kind of like playing RTS when you don't have the aspect of curating more money, basically. So it's, it's less micromanaging, which is fun, but I just, I tried, and uh, closest I got was a DC themed one. Come on, boss. Give up your goodies. The people want to know what's in the box. I drink from the day of sound bites. More popular enough for that. Um, now, I don't know what the name is of this character. So if you do know, if you want to tell me or everyone else, it's showing your knowledge, 
Uh, just leave it, leave it in the comments below. I'll read it. Hopefully the Packers will let me know what, who this guy is, but this is all I got. I kind of like this gun. It's, it's got a little blue, a little knife on the end of it. He, he kind of makes you think of Iron Man. <laughs> like, like if Iron Man had a bigger ego where he didn't need to cover his face. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, look at me, I'm an iron suit. Or if Captain America... Or, like if, or if basically if Iron Man wanted to become Captain America, the suit would look like... Continue on. Ooh. Now this is going to be harder to see, merely because it's the fabric is gray on black. I'm gonna take it out the bag so it's easier to see, but it's a it's socks. They're crew socks, and they're crew socks of from Skyrim. So it's got the seal of the dragon on it. Loot Crate exclusive from BioWorld. I gotta sport me some crew socks roll around being the Dovahkiin. So that's pretty cool. Alright, here's another item inside. This one is from Street Fire 5. It's in the Loot Crate exclusive from Capcom. Now, Capcom has come out with some really good Loot Crate exclusive items. This it says it's the Shadowloo logo pin replica. That's pretty cool. It's a snazzy. I think my camera started to freak out. It's like, no, it's too small, it's too shiny. I don't want to focus on it. But I guess this is what it's supposed to look like. But it's shiny and all that. Alright, let's see what else is in the box. Oh, the Heroes Never Die March Legacy Founder Pin. Uh, that's pretty awesome. A lot of tiny stuff in here. <laughs> I can't see a time when I would wear this, especially now that the weather's starting to get warm. But it does look interesting. This is Halo, the Master Chief hooded scarf. So I'm kind of intrigued. But it's a hooded scarf. Wow. <laughs> okay. Is it? I'm trying to figure out exactly how big it's going to get. So, yeah. So. So, so yeah, Luke Crate. So this is a thing now. All right. Now, when you said you were giving me something Halo, I was kind of expecting a replica or figure.
of a, a hooded scarf. Yeah. You did know this crate was coming out in April, right? I'm gonna let this sink in. I might support this for rest. Alright. So that appears to be everything in the box. Nice little cloud city motif. So it looks like this box could be switched around. And now the loot box has now become a variable cloud C. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. And then in the the loot crate book. Oh, the loot gaming. Yeah, it's funny because it says loot gaming, the game manual. Because what game is complete without the manual? Which I think is of is something that's missing for more games. Game developers, if you're watching these videos, we want our manuals back. Okay? There's too many people don't know how to play games. They need a manual, not just a tutorial. So I mean like So this introduces with welcome players. The very first loot gaming magazine is the very first loot gaming crate. Alright, it goes on says a lot of other things. But basically I mean it's got information about all different items. So I'll leave you to look at later, but that's the haul for the loot, cr loot gaming crates. Pretty good things. I mean, it's, it's got room for improvements. I, I kind of hope that they expand on this and add a few more uh, interesting, not more interesting items. Uh, right now, this is. Basically, like Loot Crate, but like, I mean, it's from Loot Crate, but it's basically just all gaming related, which is cool. So, so I won't hold that against them. Let's see. Before we go on, let me see if they got about the character. Nope, it doesn't say. But uh, after I after I finish the video, I'll see if they got the pictures up. And I'll put his name down in the in the uh, comment section below. Uh, now to get on with a few other announcements. Uh, before this crate came out, they already announced the new theme for both loot gaming and loot anime. So this is technically March's craze. But got it in April. So April's craze will probably come in May. 
but to look forward to April's theme is Metro, Welcome to the City. It looks like Loot Crate is for the other crates, and the regular crate are now trying to let people know what kind of stuff they can expect. That way people make a more valid decision. It's like, hey, I want that, but does it have anything I really want? So, Metro Crate will have things from Tom Clancy's Division, the new Mirror's Edge Catalyst coming out soon, Resident Evil, Fallout 4, and Bioshock 2. And those of you that love to play the, the game The Division, or will be loving it, if you haven't played the demo, there will be a bonus DLC skin for The Division in that crate. As always, I will always leave my referral link in the in the uh, below. Use it as well as the code for the discount when you subscribe. It helps me out, helps you out. Everybody has fun. Uh, the sixth crate for the, uh, well, the sixth crate for loot anime will be titled music so put on your anime and come on down to some boogie wonderland and so if any of these crates you decide that you want to hear more about let me know I'll try my best um, I had a few people tell me I should bring back the cargo crates so, uh, if you really, really think I should, leave a comment in the in the comments below. Uh, next month's theme is titled "We Are Bad Guys," and it's gonna have. It looks like the figure for it will be uh, one Jane Cobb. So. So that should be pretty interesting. Yeah, uh, lost my train of thought. Anyway, so that's that's pretty much the end of the episode. I'll be back in when the next crate comes out. Show you some more fabulous gear. Let's see. Try to make sure I remember. Let's see, remember the current loot crate uh, theme for this month will be Quest, which you can't wait for. And then, which Quest will also be the theme for the level up. And then the Sorry about that. And then the DX crate will also be quest. There's still 13 days to subscribe if you want any of those. Uh, they will be using, they will have their own individual things between the loot crate, crate uh, quest crate, and the DX crate. So stay tuned. Bring those crates when they come in. Uh, please like, subscribe. It helps me out. Yeah. Keeps me motivated to keep doing these. Uh, please let me know if you want to see something change. I'll try my best. If it's within my budget, I will try my best to change things. Uh, if you want to see more gaming vids, let me know. I haven't heard much about them, so that's why I haven't posted any more. I'm waiting to see if anyone likes the ones that are up already. There's nothing else really to report, so y'all have a good day. And as always, keep on creating. This is Seraph Lord 23. See you next time.